Good afternoon. Today we are going to be making an origami frog. So let's get started. Alrighty, for our origami frog, you're going to need a piece of paper, crayons, and a pair of scissors. So when you're making your frog, the paper you need to use is not a piece of construction paper. That's too thick. You need to use like a piece of paper Mrs. Best would get out of the printer. So if you don't have any thin paper, just use some of your, take one of your used calendar papers or a used um, packet paper if you don't have any blank paper. So when you're making origami, you have to work with a square piece of paper, but we don't have square piece of paper, we have rectangle. So I'm gonna teach you how to make a square. So you're gonna take one of the corners or the vertices, and you're going to fold it to make a rectangle or a triangle. Sorry. So I'm going to match it up here. You got to be looking over here. This is the hardest part. Is you got to make a square. Okay. So I match that up. So I now I have part of a rectangle with a little flap on the top. I'm going to cut that flap off. Okay, so this flap is gone. So I have a triangle. Kind of looks like a diaper for a baby. So when I open it up, see my crease here? Now I have a square. So I'm going to take this corner or vertice and fold it to the other one. And you want to crease it. Use your fingernails. Drag it across there to crease it. Okay. So now I have an X. So I'm going to fold it one more time. I'm going to fold it in half. Hot dog style. Crease it again. Okay. So now when I open it up, I have an X and a line in it, okay? Now what I have to do, you wanna make sure your creases are really good. So I'm gonna fold it and crease, use my fingernails again. Okay, fold this one one more time. All right, so now I am going to, you want to have the fold line here and I have to bring them together. I find it's easiest to do it this way, okay? Let's do it this way. So you're gonna have the fold going straight up and down, away from your tummy. You're gonna push this in, okay? So now I push, so I have a triangle, and then I'm going to go down like that, okay? Let me do it one more time for you to watch. Okay, so I have the fold going vertical, this is called. Okay, so I'm going to fold, I'm going to take my fingers, I'm going to push this part in, and that comes down, and then I'm going to push this part down. Okay, go slow. So when I look inside, see what's inside? It's like that. Okay, let me do it again. Here's my fold line. I'm going to go in and down all the way so they meet. Then I'm going to take this part and come down. So now I have a big triangle. Okay. Now I'm going to take this corner and fold it up to the top. So look how my triangle is. This is the open part. See where it's open? Is towards my tummy. Now I'm going to fold this part, only one of them. I'm only going to fold one. I'm going to fold one up to this corner right here. Okay. I'm going to 
fold the other side up. Again, fold one up and the other up. Okay, so here I have this up. Now I'm going to take this corner right here. I'm going to fold this again to this line right here in the middle. Fold it again. I'm going to take this side and fold it. You can see Mrs. Bess is not perfect, but that's okay. It'll still work. Okay. Now I am going to have to look. Mrs. Bess is looking at the picture. Okay, I'm going to turn him over. Okay, I'm going to turn them over. So here I was like this. Folded these up. Now I'm going to turn my frog over. Now I'm going to take this corner. I'm going to fold them down. Lots of triangle folding. To the line right here, there's a line. this side and I folded it to this line right here in the middle. Now I'm going to do the same over here. Turn this. Okay. Now that I have this part folded, I'm going to fold it halfway out. So now I'm going to go back and fold it halfway. These are his legs. Okay, so it was like this, and I folded it halfway. I'm going to do this on this side. I'm going to fold it halfway. So there he's like that. Okay. Now we're going to fold him in half so he can jump. So he'll be able to jump. So I'm going to fold him up. I'm going to fold him up two fingers. If you want to take a pencil. So I can take two fingers if you want and make a little line here so you can see where to fold them. Too hard, but he will jump. Kind of flips. Oh, frog, don't jump. Don't flip. Alright, so then you can decorate your frog. I colored mine green and gave him some eyes. Alright, so I'm going to go over how to make him again without talking. Okay, so the first part you have to do is make a square. 